The aim of the centre is to provide 14 to 25 year olds with alternative options to socialise and be able to access everyday things that all young people need to access, such as signposting to various other agencies where they might need support in different areas of their lives. Where is it you're based in Stafford? We haven't got a building yet. We're currently still trying to identify a building. Staff's County Council did offer me a building in Sandford Street. However, that turned out to be unrealistic. Time scale wise, it was due to be demolished within four months, so they're still currently waiting for other empty properties to come up. What sort of facilities would the Danny Reynolds Centre look to offer the young people of Stafford? Okay, yeah, we're going to have a chill out zone, um, which will be a meeting place for them to gather in the evenings and keep young people off the streets. There'll be a support centre, um, which will provide every element of signposting that young people need. There'll be a gym facility which will be affordable to all young people, a childcare facility to assist young parents in socialising and not becoming isolated from their peer groups. There'll be a youth church which will be led by young people rather than led by sort of older people so that young people will actually decide what what they want to come out of that youth church. There'll be a quiet room where young people can use that for various things, Uh, just time to be alone where they want to gather their thoughts. Um, For those that come from large families, somewhere to sit and do homework or assignments when they've got nowhere else to go. I can imagine that fundraising is a major priority then for you at the moment. Tell us about some of the fundraising events you have for the Danny Reynolds Centre. We've done various fundraising events over the last 18 months. My daughter Tia, and her friends have done several backpacking events at Tesco and Asda. We did a 24-hour sponsored football match at Beaconside. We had a reggae night, which was in memory of Danny. That was a huge success. We have done car washes with the football team because we're in a, an outreach with the football team. It's and So it's ongoing with small sort of fundraisers between us. And we've had some donations as well. We had a small donation from the Mayor's Charity. Stafford Lions, Notal Lions, they gave us small donations and other small donations from small businesses. I believe you've also had a midnight walk as well, is that right? Indeed we did. We had two of those. The first one, uh, the, to mark the 12-month anniversary of Danny, and it was a midnight pyjama walk. Tia organised that herself. Everybody turned up in pyjamas and everybody walked the 10 miles, and then they released balloons in Danny's favourite colours at the end. So Stafford's Got Talent is one of your big events to raise funds for the Danny Reynolds Centre this year. Now, this is the second year you're doing this event. Just tell us a little bit how it went for you last year. Last year was absolutely brilliant. We had an amazing turnout. The variety of young people and older people who entered the competition last year was absolutely fantastic. Everybody had a really good night. It was a family event last year as well, so, you know, obviously the children could come along as well. It was a huge success last year, and a lot of people asked me to put it on again this year because of last year's success. What sort of talent has Stafford got, then, that comes forward to take part in something like this? Uh, I'm guessing, obviously, bands and singers, but do you get other acts as well uh, getting involved? Last year we had some quite unique acts enter Stafford Got Talent. We had quite a few singers enter last year. Um, and a couple of bands and dance troops. We had a solo dancer who entered and got that entire room standing on their feet. So uh, this year we've got a comedian entered as well. There's a variety of talent in there. Where does the event take place? The event takes place at Stafford Rangers uh, Sports and Social Club on the 28th of June this year and it starts at 7 o'clock. You've got a few acts already who have indicated they'd like to get involved. Have you still got room for some more? We've got about two spaces left. Again, it's proved really popular this year, so we're left with about two spaces at the moment. And what does the winning act get as their prize? This year's first prize is going to be £100 cash. Second prize is a full professional photo shoot, which has been donated by Steve Sutton, and he's also going to do a canvas with that photo shoot. Third prize, we're hoping to secure some vouchers with the assistance of PM Training. Okay, anybody listening then, Di, who wants to get involved with this year's Stafford's Got Talent and support the Danny Reynolds Centre, how can they get in touch with you and get more information? They can visit our website, which is www dannyreynoldscentre.com they can contact me directly on 0790881 via the website they can send email facebook messages twitter they can find us on twitter at 
DR Centre. OK, I'll, I'll repeat those details again in a few moments. Well, Di, we wish you all the best with this. It, it sounded like a, a wonderful event you had last year uh, and raising money for a very, very worthy cause and, of course, having a bit of fun in the process as well. We wish you every success with it this year and hopefully we can keep in touch and uh, you can come back and talk to us again and let us know how things are progressing with the centre and also how the event went for you. Thank you.